couple weeks ago I made a video from Mountain Creek about how to not do drops on your mountain bike. So it's a beautiful fall day here. I'm gonna head on up and show you my six favorite drops on the mountain. The first big drop is at the bottom of a trail called Upper Dominion. When you cross this bridge and turn to the left, you'll come up on the pipeline drop. This is the best starter drop when you want to start doing some of the big ones on the hill. There are plenty of progression ones, but pipeline is mid-trail. Roll into it with trail speed, meaning no excessive braking or pedaling, and you'll be set up perfectly. When you come in real fast, I like to jump off the side to make the gap from the drop to the landing a little bit further. For the next one you'll need to rewind it back up the hill and turn right for the covenant drop. Height wise this might be the tallest at about 13 feet up and an 18 foot gap out. If you clear all the doubles on upper dominion and carry that speed with a soft pedal or two you'll send this drop right into the sweet spot. After you land a light tap of the brakes will set you up for the cannon perfectly. Both of these options will take you to one of the most social spots on the entire hill, the top of Lower Dominion. So join up with some friends and take a run down to my third favorite drop. The most visible drop on the entire mountain is the phantom drop. It's in plain sight of the lifts and it's a lot of fun. This drop is about 8 feet tall, but the gap out is only 6. It's really easy to over jump, so I like to hit it on a diagonal to help stretch out the distance a little bit. The fourth drop is towards the end of a really fun trail called Tempest, so ride down it, find your flow, and get ready. After these S turns you'll come up on the anthem drop. It measures out at 7 feet down and 12 feet out, so you'll want to get a good pedal stroke in on the bridge and pop off the end to land this one smooth. Making your way to drop number 5 will have you checking out some old school trails and testing your skinny riding skills.
this is the Road to Nowhere drop. It's one of the oldest features on the mountain and in my opinion, one of the scariest. It's an eight foot drop with an eight foot gap, but those distances can easily increase depending on your run-in speed. It's tough to set up for and the run out goes from smooth rock to blown out trail. So your speed can be a little deceiving. My advice for this one is to focus on a smooth entry and creep slowly off the drop. If you take the rest of Road to Nowhere straight down, it'll lead you to my favorite drop on Mountain Creek, the Cabin Drop. This isn't the tallest drop, but it is the furthest. At 12 feet high and 20 feet out, it requires a lot of speed, but it provides the smoothest landing on the hill. I like to start at the intersection of Waterboy and Greenhorn and roll in from there brakeless. Pumping these rollers gives you a good rhythm, and then it's up the ramp onto the cabin with a slight pop just to match the landing. Thanks for following me around Mountain Creek and allowing me to show you my top drops. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. And until next time, go out and be a boss.